Hello, this is Deepak Kirbakran with the Vice Serviceability Engineering team. This video demonstrates how to configure CTI user for ACCCM functional server integration. This is the Application Enablement Services Management Console, which is open in my desktop. And I'm in the AE Services Operations Administration and Management page. I now click on User Management. We can see that there are two tabs benefited, that is Service Admin and User Admin. Click on User Admin and click on Add User. This should give us the fields to enter or add a new user. Against the user ID, I type in the user ID for that particular user. Against the common name, you can specify any name. You can specify any surname. And we need to specify the user password. Confirm the password. And under the Avaya role, you need to select user service dot user admin. Against the CT user, we need to select yes. Click on apply to apply the changes for the user we have created. Now we can see that the new user has been created successfully. Now we are back on the main page of the AES. Now we click on the security. Under security, select security database. In the security database, we need to select CTI users and click on list all users. Now you'll be able to see our users listed here. Now this is the user which I have created for the functional server integration. Click on edit. Now in the edit CTI user header, under unrestricted access, click on the check mark and apply the changes. Click on apply again against the warning. Now we have successfully configured the user for the functional server integration with ACCC. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful to you. We welcome your comments, questions, or feedback at mentor at avaya.com or at avaya mentor on Twitter. For more details and other related technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.